Third Rule. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about three signs that back pains or sciatica is very serious. You need to see a doctor immediately. Right. So th these are something not to be taken lightly. Right. And, you know, these are relatively clear, so it's not like, well, you know, we'll go through right. it in, in some detail. Uh, so. Before we go on with that, Bob, shall we invite yeah. a few people in? If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And we don't bite. Uh, <laughs> also, you can go over to Facebook and like us because, Bob and Brad, because if you like us, we'll like you. It's a, it's a reciprocal thing. It's a win-win situation. Yeah. There is no doubt, Bob. So if you've got back pain and it's pretty severe, you wonder, do I need to see a doctor? Do I not? What's going to happen? Well, oftentimes if you got severe back pain, it's probably a good idea to see, see the doctor or a therapist if you don't know what else to do. But these are three signs you need to get to the emergency room and get things taken care of sure. right away. It doesn't mean, just because you have some of these symptoms, doesn't mean... That uh, it is serious. Right. But, but it, it just means it needs to be checked it out. It could be, and if it is, you, you need to get it. We're not trying to panic you, but right. there are times where you need to go in. Okay, so. so the first one, this is a big one. It's called cauda equina syndrome. Uh, we're not going to get into why they call it cauda equina. There's a little history about some Latin language with... The, the spinal cord, but it's when pressure gets put on the spinal cord in the lumbar area. And what it does, the, one of the big things it causes loss of bowel and bladder control. Now, I've had patients that they say, I, I ask them the question, you have any loss of bowel or bladder control? But sometimes they say, well, I've had bladder for, problems, but yeah, I've had them, time. Yeah, I've had them right. for the last three years. And then I say, has anything changed as a result of the back pain? Uh, and if they say, no, it's, it's the same as what it always had been before this episode. Then well, it's not a concern. Right. So. But, you know, your back is bothering you. You notice a change in your bowel or bladder. You need to get to the doctor. And along with this, oftentimes, the symptoms of uh, what we call saddle paresthesia. In other words, where you sit on a horse's saddle, that area that makes contact with the saddle in your groin area and the buttock is numb. It has tingling, numbness feeling. And if Some you, change in sensation. Right. If you have both of these, well, you better get to the doctor yeah. and get it checked out. Now, I had one person that had this in the last 20 years. Uh, she went to the doctor. It was negative. She didn't have to. But if it's positive and there's a problem, you need to have surgery right away. Otherwise, it could be permanent nerve yeah, damage. it's killing the nerves. And I've had two patients, Brad. Okay. I had I'll do you. But one of them. Well, you got 30 years yeah, instead of 20. Right. <laughs> one of them, uh, it was nothing. The other one, I saw after the fact, he be, he was paralyzed. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was a yeah. Issue. Um, he was paralyzed mm -hmm. from the waist down, and it, it never came back. I okay. Mean, yeah. So so that, you know that's what we say the worst case yeah, scenario. Worst so, case scenario. So right. get it in, get it checked out. Um, the next one, if you have back pain when you sleep at night wakes you up, that type of thing. But you get up in the day, and as you move around, it's completely gone. You feel comfortable all day long. But only when you sleep, that's a big concern. And if I have a patient that has that, I'm looking carefully to find out, you know, particularly if the person has uh, weight loss, unexplained right. weight loss, you know, I call a doctor, say, get to the doctor, let's get this checked out. It is not typical for a back problem that's caused from twisting, bending, some mechanical problem. You need to find out what the cause is. I, I wouldn't say it's an emergency, but if it hurts, right. oh, I, no, I, I would say that might be an emergency, but I, I would say if it's hurting at night consistently, mm -hmm. I would probably go in too at sure. some point. Right. I mean, I wouldn't, when it's not an emergency. Right. This is not one where you're going to go to the emergency right. room, but you need to see the doctor. You need to see the doctor yeah. to make sure that. Sooner than later, uh, you know, like where I live, we could go to the urgent care. Right. You know, it's not a big deal, but you get it taken care yeah, of. And you you get want to get it looked at. Right. You don't want to let it keep going on. Okay. So. And number three, um, and this is something that Bob and I, we are always looking for this, and right. doctors are too, is loss of motor control. Usually people with sciatica, pain, numbness, tingling down one leg, they're the people who are probably going to have this, although it could be down both legs, which is even more of concern. If you have a loss of motor control, you, you're losing strength. There's one thing to have symptoms of tingling, numbness, 
you know, that's burning, a, burning yeah. typically a pinched nerve. But if that nerve gets so pinched that you lose motor control, because a nerve is what's making you're your muscles You're killing off work. that nerve is what right. you're doing. You're damaging right. it. Right. So. Uh, so, for example, a really quick test that is done all the time. If you've been to a doctor a number of times, they've probably done this and didn't even know it. They'll say, can you walk? Can you see this with our feet? Yeah. Can, can you walk on your toe or on your heels with your toes up in the air? Or can you walk on your toes like this with your heels up in the air? And if you have a problem and one side you can and the involved side it just drops down. Right. Or you cannot go up on your toes. Now don't get this confused, particularly if you're older. I see people usually in their 60s and older, and you probably agree with this. I, this is just anecdotal evidence. Right. They get weaker in their calf muscles sure. and walking on their toes. Yeah, so especially if it's uniform on both sides, right. that, that they have some difficulty. Right. And, right. and by the way, you might want to hold on to something if, if you are a Yeah, stable. yeah, grab yourself so. you know, something to hold on to. Uh, then there, you can do other manual muscle testing, which gets a little more, uh, you need to be a therapist. Yeah, Usually, not, sometimes what I'll do is just do, if you don't mind me taking my shoe off, it's not going to. Well, it's always been an issue in the past, yeah. but let's see how it goes. But a lot of times I just push on the, the big toe, the big, hold, yep. hold the toe up, right. and I push on it. Because that's usually the first one to go. Sure, it seems like quite often. Right. So you know, and, and the other side holds your your the good leg. Right. Holds, but this one pushes right. right away. And you know that's a good thing. Compare one leg to the other. You know, if you're at home trying to do this to yourself, if there's any question, you know, you need to go in because uh, the yeah, manual muscle. Yeah, be safe. Yeah, that's manual right. muscle testing does take some practice. It, you know, it's more for a professional, like a therapist. But you know, a gross. You know, if you can kick one leg up and the other one you can't get up, you obviously have a problem. Um, right. So, and again, you want to get in on and treat these things treated before they become more of a permanent issue. Right. So, so the nerve can revive itself and uh, not be have a permanent uh, problem. So, what do you uh, say, Bob? I say uh, those are the three things, and uh, you know, be careful. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>